town. Don't we love it now? Everybody's waiting for the next surprise. Are you waiting for the next surprise? Because today's first surprise is not a surprise at all, actually. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Playing it again. You know what's good. You know what's vibing, gamers. Hey. Lights are on today. Sorry. I know. Everyone just loves it when uh, you can see just nothing in my webcam. I'd prefer to see nothing of my webcam, too. So, I tried to increase... So, there's two options in the options file. There's FOV and there's sensitivity. I tried increasing both. Because the sensitivity in this game is really low, and so is the FOV. The FOV is 50. I turned that up to 80. And then uh, sensitivity was 5. I turned that up to 7. So the exact same value. I did not realize there were doll faces in that rug. So why are all these things dead now? I realize, like, I, I questioned it in my head, but I never actually, like, commented on it. I noticed something. When I was editing the video. Another thing. When I went into the room with the clicking, there was something I didn't notice. Well, I did kind of see it, but I didn't, like, it didn't register in my mind completely. At the top of the screen, there was something blue. And I went through it frame by frame, and I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. You can see it. Okay. I'm trying to think about this in my, my brain... My brain stem. What is is there anything that I missed? Is there anything that I wanted to see or that I can't see? I'm not gonna go back to the storage room. You can't make me. I think because it's, it's, it's like this game kind of has Doom esque graphic style. You know, with the the 2D sprites and everything. I just don't think to look up or down. Because you can't do that in Doom, right? There is no up and down. They have fake 3D. Tea room for proud parent volunteers. Instruction manual. Uh, this room functions to relieve stress and replenish spirit energy in the event that the doll has lost potency. You may use this function by placing the doll upon the pedestal and sitting across from it. In the event of husk rejection or injury, GL Labs is not responsible under any circumstance. <sighs> Alright. It, it wait huh I guess that was saying it was at full all right so we have these doll hands and I don't know what to do with them I keep on doing something really bad and that is I keep on biting the inside of my cheek <laughs> Just, like, unconsciously. And I know that one time I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to walk through a door. Like, instantly spooked. And I'm going to fucking, like, bite down so hard. Oh, my God. Doll's crying. Doll's fine. Oh, if you bring the doll over to the grave, it starts crying. So, the doll, apparently, according to the notes, freaks the fuck out whenever the clown is nearby. So, we gotta be mindful.
Oh my god. Oh, hey. Uh, I was thinking you might want some help. So, I moved all those dolls out of the way. Well, have fun. This is going to start a chase sequence. This is going to start a chase sequence. I need to I need to gather up my like my ego, you know, my uh, my like bolster myself. Puff my chest. I need to Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, gamers. Woo! All right. This is a good one. All right. So, we got a pair of metal keys. Where do the keys go? That is the question. Uh, we haven't been able to get to the root cellar yet. So I'm going to go check that out real quick. I really haven't wanted to come back to this part of the mansion. Because of, you know, that. Oh, these guys aren't in here anymore. You're having difficulty containing one of the stronger spirits. The dolls that we use to hold them keep stretching out and breaking. And then we have to summon the spirit all over again. Theoretically, the size of the vessel shouldn't matter, but it complains that it's all too small. So for now, it's locked up behind an emergency containment door. Right. Uh, about that. I don't have a good feeling about this. In fact, I have I have a strictly bad feeling about this. Generic lab labs. Just another Thursday. We were looking in the wrong place. The dolls did little, but it distract us. They could not fill my heart, and they were not suitable for you to inhabit. That is why you did not come back to me. But I found something else. A relic from the Old Kingdom era that seals spirits to the earth. Though it originally was used for great evil, I will use it for you. Escape tram? Of course. This place looks pretty nice. Spirit seal hellgate source. Fucking everything requires an access card. Oh no. Oh no. This is where we release the clown, isn't it?
Of course. No. Well, wait. Hold on. That could be our only escape route. Is that a good idea? I don't think that's a good idea. I am simply no fan of this. gonna make me fucking you really gonna make me do that you really just gonna make me walk up to a hook doll and just fucking pluck that shit right out of there and what you expect me something bad to not happen a life-size doll hangs here by several silver hooks. A metal pinwheel piece glued to them. Tear it off. What could possibly go wrong? Alright, let's close this. See, that's what I thought might be the case. What could possibly go wrong after I pick this up? Oh, hey, you're back. Is my doll back in the... back in here? Because otherwise, I literally cannot get back to my doll. I think the clown is still in his cage. God, I hope so. All right, can I go through here now? Okay. So now I have my key card. I don't <laughs> I don't like the fact that I don't have my 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 healing doll. Okay. Express yourself. How about no?
Easy! This has to be the end of the game! Oh, you're fucking... How you doing, Specimen 9? I died. Uh, did I ever enter the room that's like, just f all the way down here? Live, laugh, love. We abandoned the dull idea of tethering the subject to a physical object, and instead we sealed her spirit within the mansion itself. Her abilities within the facility should be incredible. The director would be pre pleased with the outcome of his sacrifice. Okay. So that's, that's the lore. That's the last bit of lore. Of the spooky... Alright, let's, let's whew, psych ourselves up a little bit, shall we? Mmm. 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 Oh yeah, we're gonna punch that clown in the face so hard. Ooh. 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 Oh, I'm gonna take my fist and I'm gonna ram it up that clown's asshole. Just like I do on the weekends normally. Fisting clowns. Yeah! Oh, hey. I don't like it here. You should probably just leave. Okay. Oh. I think in order to get the good ending, we need to find all of the black candles in the root cellar. And then that'll activate some sort of ritual here. Alright, let's go visit Spooky again. If she's still there. The seal is almost complete. And then, you can return to me. It requires a nightmare to work. So I will surrender mine. The same nightmare that took you from us will now bring you back. The seal can be turned off, but if I do this, I'll have to let the doll spirit go. There's no going back. Erase the nightmare? No. Is Spooky a nice ghost? Okay, so Spooky... In case you haven't seen. Spooky is the person who welcomes you at the very beginning of the game and challenges you to make it through a thousand rooms of her mansion. Her jump scare mansion. And that's it. She doesn't really have much more of a character other than she's just kind of there. She doesn't like hurt you. She, she like every 250 rooms, she's like, oh, hey, you made it. Nice. Here's a save point. Good luck. So, Spoilers. Spooky. As a human. As a person. Was a kid that really liked to scare people. So. Uh. One Halloween. Eve. She brought some firecrackers around. And. Uh. A veteran. Shot her. And fucking killed her. <laughs> Because, you know, the loud banging noise. And... So, because of that, her father, who I'm assuming is... present company... Uh... Dedicated pretty much his entire life... to bringing her back. Because she was such an innocent little girl. 
So now she exists within this mansion. You know, spooking. Oh, <clears throat> we've summoned far too many spirits for it to handle. Even returning them might collapse the gate. So I moved three of the ritual candles into the root cellar. That should deter any more summoning for now. Spooky will probably order someone to go get them, but that's not my problem. Odds are they won't survive down there anyway. Why didn't I just pick them up while I was down there? I saw him. You saw him. This is bullshit. I fucking hate this. Also, I'm no longer... I've noticed when I pick up the doll, I'm no longer referring to it as the doll. I'm referring to it as her. Pick her up. I think that's good attention to detail. I like that. Alright, let's go do some tea ritual, since our doll is now impotent. Ah, yes. How you doing? This is some lovely tea, ain't it? Be strong. Let me, let me give you a couple shakes. Yep, there it is. Okay. I can see her in the corner of my eye. Uh, with any vision beyond that, she twitches and moves towards me. Sometimes I can hear her breathing behind me. How did I get here? Is there punishment for denying death? So if you look at her, she moves towards you. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, I see, I see. So she just kind of teleports around sporadically. And you just have to not look at her. Just don't look at her forehead. Yo, I need some help. Really? Really? Oh my god. Curiosity, was that just really unlucky? Or whenever she hits you, does she always spawn like again right in front of you and you just have to look away? I thought she would just randomly teleport. I got some jelly beans. You want some jelly beans? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Five thousand dollars for your head alone. All right, so this isn't too hard. It's kind of like Slender Man, right? All right, that's a teleport. So she can be in the corner of your eye. But any closer, 
And that's no good. Way past cool. Ha! Put the beans on it. Whoa! So she just spawns in like a relatively random location. She teleported behind me. Nice. Nothing personnel, kid. Alright, that's the way out. We need one more candle. The question is... Yar, where be the last candle? We already got a candle in here. Yard, the candle, ritual candles, all be picked up. I guess I'm a pirate for Halloween now. I mean, it's pretty appropriate. Have you guys ever seen Rattle Me Bones? Batteries sold separately from idea. Rattle and shake. Rattle me bones. Like, oh, there's a frightening globe. Don't rattle me bones. You rattle me, rattle me bones. You can take what you will. Don't rattle me bones. From ideal. Let's rattle me bones. Uh, specifically, that one was the AI upscaled version. Uh, posted by Rice Knot, Which is an amazing YouTube channel. If you, if you ever have the time, check it out. Rice Knot. R-I-C-E-S-N-O-T. God... It's weird because when you go near the grave and it starts crying, it's coming out of the, like, the eye holes, the pupils. It's not coming from the sides of the, the eyeballs. It's coming out of the pupils. Like, those are actually just, like, holes punched into the doll's skull, and there's water leaking out of it. All right. So, we're just gonna bring one of these bitches in here. So, which... Which... Do we bring in? Is the question. Kinda wanna bring in the waifu. Low-key. Come on, let's bring in the waifu. Spirit already active. Lead back to Hellgate Source to return. What the fuck? Wait, they turned it into... Yo, they turned this into Fatal Frame? That's God Tier. What's going on? Okay, so... Uh, we're in a chase sequence. We're being chased by Anime Girl. That, you know, that one. And, uh... We're doing this in order to... Break... 
uh, break the hell gate portal thing. She keeps on saying sin. Her titties are nice, I agree. Although she's probably underage, so I'm gonna have to ask you to take a seat right there, sir. I'm stuck on a corner. This is a great game. <laughs> They're better that way! So I'm just assuming I have to keep on going through rooms until... I actually really like this new, like, camera flash mechanic that they added for this ghost, or for this specimen. It's broken. It's locked. This is kind of fun. Dude, I'm playing zombies over here. Yo, do I have enough... Do I have enough points to pack yet? Wait, this is where I started. Yo, where's PhD? bits and pieces and What the fuck?
firing excess shots to reload. I mean, that's how you actually had to do it with the M1 Garand. If you wanted to reload, you had to use all your shots. I can't select no. I always wanted to tell you how that night really ended, but I couldn't because you were gone. I need your forgiveness. That's why I wanted you back at any cost. But in the end, I robbed you both of life and unlife. Please go on and be with Monica. I'm sorry. All right. Warning. Boom. Thirty-five seconds. Party on, dude! Party on, Wayne! With the seal broken, the spirits trapped within the mansion can now go on, and with the Hellgate shut, the terrors that seep through begin to fade away. Spooky has moved on, and rests with her parents now. Somehow, despite all the horror within the mansion, you brought peace to it all. Alright. So. Here's my thoughts. Overall, good DLC. The deciphered text can be entered. As a password. Maybe it needs to be in all caps. Into the sea, you and me all 
these years. And no one heard. Like an ant nest that was boiling from the inside. Lightning screamed through the sky but did not dissipate. And instead left black marble scars across the horizon. The air grew heavier and heavier until it too became solid mass. Yeah, all right. 